Hello everyone. Today I'll be showing you some things to do and settings to try if you've been having graphical issues with the new Warzone Season 3 gameplay. I've seen a lot of people having major issues since the update and thanks to the help of a friend of mine, I'm actually currently getting the best frames that I've got since the game came out. So I'd like to share the settings I'm using with you to see if hopefully they will help you out as well. And I'm currently using an NVIDIA 2070 Super, and in-game I can get easily 180 average FPS. If I'm streaming, it's about 140 to 150. But with that being said, let's get started. So first things first, the first thing you want to do is make sure you have the latest driver for your GPU. That it's going to have all the latest updates. I wouldn't necessarily recommend using the beta ones if you aren't super familiar with the drivers, but having the latest up-to-date one will have will allow you to have the best options, sorry there, have the best options in game, such as NVIDIA DLSS that you can get with the new driver, which we'll talk about once we get there. So before we do any graphic settings, the first thing that I want you to do is go to your my documents go to call of duty modern warfare go to the players folder and this advanced options.ini folder this has been holding on to a lot of settings that aren't good for people so the first thing i recommend you do is just oops give this a delete it'll rebuild itself after but the first thing that alone just deleting that has helped a lot of friends of mine get their FPS back up to where they used to be, so always a good thing to start with. But then <clears throat> after this, I want you to go to your local disk C, program files x86, modern warfare, scroll down to where you see modern warfare.exe, right click on it, go to properties. On the compatibility tab here, make sure run this program as an administrator is checkmarked. And then you can hit apply and then OK. And then once that's done, we're going to configure a couple settings in your Battle.net launcher. So once you have Battle.net open here, go to settings. And then on the app tab, you want to make sure that on game launch is set to exit Battle.net completely. The reason you want to do this is because the more processes that are running on your computer, the more it's going to struggle graphically in game. So anything you can close is a big FPS boost. Personally, I found uh, I use a Razer mouse and keyboard. So I have the Razer Cortex software on my computer. And I've noticed that exiting that before I play has also gave me a boost in FPS. And I've noticed that if I'm streaming some of my friends in the background and have a browser open while I'm playing, my FPS also drops due to that. So the more things you can close, the better it'll be on your own performance. So that's why we have this set to exit completely. Then once you launch your game, it'll close. And then if you scroll down here under advanced features, there's a use browser hardware acceleration box. You want to make sure that's unchecked. So what that does is it uh, when you have those processes running in the background this will cause your computer to use more of your graphics card resources for those other processes so we don't want that as we want it to focus on the game that you're playing so once we have that done we will go ahead and launch the game and configure our graphics settings So the game is just launching right now. Once that's up, we'll get all switched in. So now what we want to do is go to over this one. And we will bring up 
So once you are in your game, the first thing you want to do is in your options, go to general tab here, set your field field of view to no higher than 110. The max is 120, but anything higher than 110 is going to cause you to drop frames. Having it between 111 and 120, it causes about 10 to 15 frame deficit. 90 is supposed to be optimal, but 110 is the highest you want to go. I like it on 110, but again, 90 is optimal. And then once you have that, we'll go to the graphics tab here. You want to make sure your display mode is on full screen, as full screen, borderless, or windowed can also cause frame drop. And your screen refresh rate here, you want to set this according to your monitor. So I have 144 hertz mo refresh monitor. And one thing to note too is even if you have a 144 hertz monitor, if you're using a, an HDMI cable, you actually can't get higher than 120. You need to be using a DisplayPort cable to get the full 144. And you want to make sure in your window settings that your NVIDIA graphics is set to display it as 144 as well. Now here, your render resolution, you want this to be at 100. Display resolution is whatever you have your the resolution on your monitor set to. But render resolution, you want it to be 100 so that it looks clear. The aspect ratio, you want to keep this on automatic. So this keeps the resolution to scale. If, say, you get a new monitor and it's different, this will automatically adjust that for you. Sync every V-frame you want to disabled. Custom frame rate just set to unlimited. Even um, since this is a 144 hertz monitor, we'll get higher frames, but the monitor can't process a higher than 144, I believe. So if you just set it on unlimited, it won't uh, limit it in any way, obviously. That's what unlimited means, right? Now, NVIDIA highlights, you want this on disabled, because having this running in game Again, it's just extra processes that you don't essentially need. Reflex low latency, you want enabled plus boost. Streaming quality is normal. Texture resolution normal. I have texture and any, sorry, I'm going to get this wrong. Texture filter anisotropic as high. Particle quality, we want high. Bullet spread and impact. Uh, it doesn't cause FPS drop if you have it on disabled. It just reduces the clutter on your screen. I like to have it on enabled because it doesn't bother me. Tessellation you want to have as near. On demand texture streaming you want disabled so that it's not downloading assets while you're playing. Shadow map resolution you want on normal. Cache spot shadows and cache sun shadows should be enabled. Because if they're enabled, again, it everything on the side, it tells you what it does. But having them enabled stores them in the cache so they do render faster. And it doesn't have to redraw them every single time. Particle lighting, normal. Direct X ray tracing, you want off. Ambient occlusion, you want off. Screen space reflection, you want on low. What this does is, say if you have gold or platinum camos and you run under the right light with them. Uh, sometimes it might blind you. Putting this on low will make that more bearable. Filmic strength you want on zero. DLSS, unless you have a 4K or an, a 2K, a 4K or an 8K monitor, you want this on balanced and that'll be the best setting for you. Your anti-aliasing you want on SMAA1X. So this will make things look more jagged, but it also helps the objects stick out more. I, and yeah, they look more jagged, but for the frames, it doesn't make that much of a difference. You can still tell what the items are far away. Personally, I like it on this setting. Depth of field, you want disabled. World motion blur, disabled. Weapon motion blur, disabled. Film grain you want to make sure is on zero. I had this set on one and it caused my game to look really, really grainy. You want that as low as it can be, which is zero. Now, if you don't have a card that has NVIDIA DLSS here, 
then what happens is you can enable dynamic resolution, which due to me having DLSS, I can't turn dynamic resolution on. But again, if you don't have DLSS or if the DLSS does cause some issues for you, uh, you can leave it off and turn dynamic resolution to enabled. And then what you want to set the dynamic resolution frame rate target at is what your average uh, in-game FPS is. So say if it's you run between 80 and 90 constantly, set that as 85. So if you have a 1080p monitor, when you get into a gunfight, uh, it might stutter and lag a little bit. What this does is it drops your resolution from 1080 to 720 for a split second during the gunfight and adds a bunch of filters to keep it still looking good. But then it keeps your FPS from dropping. And then as soon as the gunfight's over, it puts everything back to normal. And it'll keep your frame rate stable so that you don't stutter during gunfights. And it won't overdo your graphics. And once you have that done, you can just hit apply settings and go ahead and test it out and see what kind of frames you get. Good luck. I hope this helps solve all your graphics problems. And let me know down in the comments if you tried this and how it worked out for you or if you have any better suggestions. Maybe there's something I missed that, or I didn't explain properly. Uh, let me know down in the comments and good luck fragging.